at this point I've been recording for almost 20 minutes. Let's go for a game. <laughs> yes, Duncan. Yes. Well, I'm at rank 13 at the moment. I've almost only played this deck. I played one or two games as with my rogue deck. Rogue is my worst class, but I actually won a few games with him unranked. Maybe I will show you guys another day. Maybe not. Who knows? This episode will probably be cut at whatever. Anyway, we're gonna look for a match. Duncan will probably cut this part out. I'm also gonna try and sh um, show my thought process on every turn. Um, if you think you had a better turn, please say so in the comments. I appreciate it if that's happened, since, well, I am not a pro player at all. But, yeah, I think I'm good enough in order to show you guys how to play Hearthstone. Um, and a lot of friends of mine who also play Hearthstone kind of want me to teach them how to play. I've had my streams on Twitch a few times, and I'm not that popular. Which is why I asked Duncan, because he's my roommate and all, to upload this and he wants to have Hearthstone on his channel too. So it's a win-win. As I said, I'm gonna show you the thought process on every move. It might help you play better at Hearthstone, it might make you feel like, why didn't I think of this? This is amazing! Or it might feel you make you feel like, you're an idiot for doing this, you could have done this much better. And that's why I ask you guys in order to leave a comment if you think you can, could have done it a lot better. Well, we have a hunter. Uh, in these metas, hunters are often a, an aggro deck. I will throw away the sledge bolt because it's 5 mana. It's too much mana, I can't use it early game. I will keep the zombie chow, of course. Even though swipe is 4 mana, I'm gonna keep it in order to deal with a lot of small minions. And the innovate is always nice to have in your opening hands. Nice, I have a mind control tag. These are also nice to have in the early games, since then they want to flood the board. Huh, they played tracking. Well, they, he. It's rank 13, I know, tryhards, but... Of course I play the sludge ball, not the sludge ball chair, the zombie chair turn 1, because I I could innovate, coin, swipe to the face, but what of kind of value would I have had? Well, I could coin, or I could innovate out the swipe again, that's no real use, so I'm just gonna use my hero ability. Attack this. And let's hope for a explosive trap. It's an explosive trap, which is quite nice, to be honest. Since it will heal him, who have done nothing, and I've dealt with the explosive trap, which might have killed my own my other minions that I would spawn soon. The hunter has the hero ability to, to deal two damage to the enemy's face. My hero ability gives me one attack this turn and one armor. Um, I'm sorry I didn't say this earlier, but I didn't really have the need. Um, I'm now in a tough spot. I will most likely use my hero ability since playing the mind control attack now is not so much value. Innovate, coin, can't really play anything. So I'll just hero ability, kill the 2-1 to save some damage to some extent. Uh, I can't kill this one way or another, so that's why. I could have swiped the this one, and I would have killed the other one. But I, I think swipe is far more value after I kill this. Well, um, I can uh, I have two choices here. I can play my Ancient of War or Ancient of Lore. I can play my, I have more than two choices, I can play my Keep of the Grove, killing this. And I think I will, 
Yes. I can play my Ancient of War, it can, he can trade in both minions, but I think this is more value. Killing this over this, and this will summon two one ones. Oh, he actually doesn't have any more secrets in his deck. It means he has some in his hand. Interesting to know. Uh, I don't really have the time to explain every card of the opponent, too. So I'm just... Uh, the mad scientist gives you a random secret from your deck. Which can be good. Can be quite good. Um, I'm gonna choose to attack this. So it will summon two one ones And use my swipe. Just some idle chit chat. Um, I did that so his board would have been clear. And... Uh, even though I could have just killed Leoc and had spider attack 1 damage, now I have his entire board clear without too much effort. This is most likely a uh, either explosive trap misdirect or misdirection, but misdirection isn't run that often. So it's either explosive trap or frost trap, and at my, neither one I'm really mad. It's explosive trap. Uh, I'm gonna choose to play the Druid of the Claw. To have a 4 6 on the board with taunts, so he can't charge into my face. And it gives me a buffer zone, and it gives me a minion for next turn. He chooses to silence it, which is fine by me. He chooses to also play a charge, which is less fine by me, since I'm at a dangerous amount of health. But. Never fear, because Ancient of War is here. I will just choose to trade into this, since then he has less burst potential in case he has another silence. Or he has skill command and then he can kill this. I want this to live, for as long as possible. He has double kill command, doesn't he? Liak. Well, luckily you didn't. So now I can play this. Giving me 8 more HP, which is always great. I will use my hero ability here. And then I will just trade in like this, like this, like this. This isn't really trading in, but. I had the attack anyway, why not? Um, well, I guess that's one way to win. First win of the day. And I am also on a winning streak, which is nice. Let's go for another one. That game shows the perfect example of Taunt being nice. I didn't really ramp anything. I still had my Innovate, I still had the coin. So, it basically means the opponent didn't have enough tempo in order for me to have to do that. And then Duncan dropped his water on the floor, on paperwork. Great. I'll, uh, I'll keep both of the... I'll keep this entire hand. I can play this with a coin, then I can play this. Or, no, I don't even have to play the coin. I can play this on turn 2. This on turn 3, coin out this, and then I have like 7 mana uh, at a really quick phase. Base, sorry. He, ch he plays a 1-3. That's fine. It's only a 1-3. I don't really want to use my coin in order to wrath down the 1-3. Which cannot even draw me drawing cards yet. So I'll just take it nice and slow. I'll have a 4-2-4 four, four next turn with another mana. That is 5 mana, that's 6, that's a lot of mana to use. Oh, wait, I don't have to use the coin, of course. Um... Next turn I will have 7 mana available, 
Having the Ancient of War already available at that turn is quite nice. He now has 5 mana, I do not worry too much about it. Since he can now play a big minion. But I will be able to play most likely a far bigger minion. Since there are many minions in the game that are bigger than this. He plays a Shadow of, Shadow of Pain. He could have first attacked this. Oh, that would have been a much better play. Well, you know my turn. Easily a 5-10 on the field. Not much I can play afterwards. But he could have attacked with the Northshire Cleric into my 2-4. Healed the Northshire Cleric and then killed the 2-3 uh, at that point with his Shadow of Pain. It would have drawn him another card and he wouldn't have to waste so much mana since he just wasted 3 mana. And this makes you actually very happy that I gave him that more mana since he didn't use it. And, well, if your opponent doesn't use mana, be happy. Since this isn't a card in the game that gives you more mana next turn if you have if you spare mana this turn except for the wild grove, but that is only two mana. You place a holy fire, five damage, five health, restorance. Well, he can't since he has still got his maximum uh, mana pool. I'm gonna play the shadow of Nakrema so it can grow. Now I have the choice of either just hero abilitying, floating free mana, or innovating my Malorn. It's quite tempting to innovate my Malorn out, but it's a slow deck and I will not have another turn next turn, so I'll just choose to play it slow too. I could have coined out the Keep of the Grove, but I don't really have minions on the field. For the opponents, of course. And why why waste the value out of it if I can do it like this? Oh, that's a shame. But I'm quite happy that I didn't lose my Malorn, almost lose my Malorn to that. Since then he would have been a 9-3. Yes, he actually tries to heal me to death. Deal with it. Anyway, I'm just gonna ref. Easily choice, since it's free health and I can deal free damage with the draft. I have 7 mana. I have Playing out the Malorn. This is quite dangerous, since you can now silence it. And I won't get the ultimate value out of it, getting it back into my deck. You might BGH it, which is fine. Light in I'm not too mad about that. It's a new card, it's pretty strong, but... Not too much to worry about. Alright. Well. Ah, perfect. I'll play a Wrath. Deals with this. I'll play the Keep of the Grove. Deals with this. I attack his a face. Boom. 9 health bless. I'll attack his face with this since I don't want to use my mind control attack and these just give me more mana. Ah, I again have an innovator and a coin in my hand. That I'm most likely never gonna use. Interesting. I wish you had this more often. Like, sometimes your innovator are at the bottom of your deck. And that really sucks. Well! Thanks. Um. Do I think I will need to swipe for something else? Most likely. So I'll just trade this in, check his face, and float 8 mana. Yes. And he will float 8 mana. It's too bad, but I cannot really play anything. Damn it! It's only... yeah, I can get it back, maybe, but yeah, this is quite problematic, since I don't really have a play, playing Kelfrizad now is not a good option, so 
This hurts my feelings. But I can only use this hero ability now. I will feel the pain of my own Malorn. Well, it's a priest after all, they do this all the time. And it's not because he used the additional mana I gave him too much, since he could have just waited one more turn, took the damage, stole it. If he doesn't play more minions, I am forced to, yes. If he, yeah, I will be forced to play this. I just can't leave this on the field. He will get it back, I know. I'll just play this and end my turn. Um, whether I heal 8 or heal 8 at a later date doesn't really matter. It just makes him less likely to go and try and rush me down. But it sucks that he now has a Malorn in his deck. Well. This is the Dr. Boom I was talking about earlier, during my card explanation. It's, it's, it's ex extremely powerful. But we have this. And now I get this. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and use 5 damage on this, running this into that. I will choose to clear this, hopefully it will just go acceptable. It could have dealt 4 damage to this, 3 damage to this, 2 or 1, 2 or 1 were the acceptable ones. If he would have dealt 3 damage to this it would have been really bad and salty. Hmm. <laughs> Well, if I don't get an Ancient of Lore soon, I'm gonna lose this. Since he's healing slowly back up and he has a Malorn, I do not have any way to get a new Mind Control tech. I do not have BGHs in order to deal with it. So, I need an Ancient of Lore in order to draw more steam. Since I have enough coal to fuel that steam, power engine. I have a Kel'Vrezard that wants minions on the board, except for this one in particular since I don't want to keep restoring 5 health to him, but I have a Kel'Vrezard and that wants to restore minions back to life. And there is my Ancient of Lore. You fucking kidding. Well, send this into that. I want this to be dead as soon as possible. He is at his 30 HP now anyway, if he heals his face. Or he is at 28 and I will only be able to heal him with 2 with this, so it's fine. The reason I traded that uh, this Chow into the Keeper of the Grove is that he can't heal it back up to 6 HP. Trade in with uh, maybe my Ancient of Lore, deal 3 more damage to the Ancient of Lore and get much value out of the Keep of the Grove. Now he will... Yeah, or he would have traded in with me or he could have just played the Wild Pyromancer and played one single spell. It would have killed my 2-1. Wild Pyromancer deals 1 damage to all minions on the field when a spell is cast, like that. Not too mad that he uses his holy fire. But it does quite suck. Not certain if this was a good play by his side, but whatever. Guess it was a mistake. Um Two, four, five. Oh, I could have played Calfrazad. Yeah, but you get why. 
Well, if I played it, it would have been really great. Just then he wouldn't have had such easy trades. Shoot. Mistakes were made, I guess. Well, more fuel. I hope. Hmm. If I charge with this and attack this, then use an innervate in order to coin out my hero ability, trade with this, I will have this removed from the field. But if I go for bear form, I have a 4 6. This actually is rather tough. You can buff this up even more. You can trade this in with a lot of more. Yeah, I think this is this is better. Even though I kind of waste and innovate now, innovating out your hero ability is not what you want to do, since your hero ability is really inefficient use of mana. But it's fine in this case, I think. Since he has four cards, well, that sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I forgot to mention, by the way, that the Azure Drake, uh, I, I think I didn't go through with the Azure Drake on my explanation of my card list. The Azure Drake is a 5 mana 4-4, four, four. not so good stat-wise, but it gives you 1 spell damage, which is nice. And it gives, it has the battle cry, draw a card. And drawing cards is really fun, since you have more stuff to throw. Should have done it the other way around. Wouldn't have mattered. I think my only way to win is that my Lorne is the bottom is of his deck. He won't play it anymore, and I get to crush him before that happens. His bottom of the deck. And I have to crush him before my bottom of the deck is reached also. Well, no, not before my bottom is reached, but before I die due to the fact that my deck is at the bottom of the list. I still have the coin. These really are some... Rather strange games that I still have to coin. Kalfrazard, Kalfrazard. I could have played Jacera, but playing Kalfrazard now makes it that he can't just use a Holy Smite to kill the Scratch Ball here. If he does that, I will thank him. Since then, I get a new Scratch Ball and a 1 2 slime. I'm getting really salty now, especially because Duncan is laughing his ass off right next to me. Well, this is a good example of why I hate priests, but normally it's rather like they like to take your stuff. Priests are just like, no, I shouldn't be racist on YouTube. <laughs> Fill in whatever you want there. Um, I'm gonna go all out on this bitch. Since I have to. Otherwise, he will just send in, throw down minions, and I can't deal with it. And he will get all his minions back. And I kind of want to have still a chance left to win. Even though it's looking rather grim. Close to no hope. Basically, if he finds a way to steal. Yes! He can't steal just Sarah. Yes, 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 yes! Since he could have used Shrink Mice there. Shrink Mice is a 2 mana free to reduce the opponent's uh, minion damage by 2. Then this would have been a 2 12 for s turn and then take control of an enemy minion with 2 or less attack. And he would have had just Sarah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Right, mana. Right, right. 
Yes! I got the Emerald Drake. What's up? I saw, I saw something about Dream cards. Yeah. About that character. Uh, it's, um, it gets in the middle of the screen from the Sarah and, uh, it's random, it's, it's, it's not from this card, this card will get, draw your card if you heal a minion, so if you would heal my Tazdinka right now, he would get the card, but he won't. Will rise against you. Three, four, three, four, eight, fifth, thirteen, he needs one more damage. Why did he heal this? I will get it back next. What? I'm out of cards. What? I should use my hero ability each turn now. I play this now, with a little bit of luck, it won't get killed too soon, with a little bit more luck, Baron is still on the bottom of his deck. Can just silence it and send this in, but then I will not win. What the fuck do you now have? I have oh, that's my lord. Yeah. I, uh... I'm gonna just do this. Kill myself. It's a funnier way to kill myself than just conceding. But yeah. After he had stolen that one million minion with I don't know, what did he steal the first time? With his mind control? Oh yeah, the Malorn. Duh. If he didn't steal Malorn with that, I had a far bigger chance of winning. Uh, I believe that uh, not trying to swipe the Malor in the first try was the right thing to do. I still had a chance that he would have played two more minions and uh, I could have stolen it back. And I could have drawn better answers like my uh, silencing minion at the end of my game that dealt two damage to my face. What's it called? Keep of the Grove. Keep up the growth, yeah. I could have silenced Malorn and killed Malorn, and I wouldn't have to deal with it later. Well, I didn't have to deal with it later, since it killed me. So I couldn't deal with it anyway at that point. But yeah, you get the point. Can you imagine just like this map mm, during the night yeah. on Hell on Earth? Well, I've good. Played. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, since that's a deck I'm really comfortable with and it's a nice experience to show you guys how I play this Rams Druid. So I'll just trade this in, deck space, and float 8 mana. Yes. I will float 8 mana. It's too bad, but I can not really play any. Damn it!